How's it going, Flame Destroyers? Welcome back to Just Bar, and today we are reacting to Rebecca Parham, my scary Barracuda story. Let's watch the video! Stay till the end of the video to see how you can get one of these guys for free. Ooh! Happy 10 year anniversary, explainers and entertainers! Well, well done. Can you believe it? This channel well, has been around for an entire years, so. decade. Eh. I even okay. over rendered my hair for the occasion. You like it? Hope oh, so. Dude. Live action Becca toiled over it for hours. Ten years on YouTube and I've become the personal stylist to a cartoon character. <laughs> to mark the celebration, I have a very special story for you. Grab some champagne and brace yourself, explainers. This is the one I've been keeping in my back pocket for an entire decade on this channel. Mm. I give you the Barracuda story. All if right. you've been around long enough on my channel, you Whoa, already know that since dive. middle school, I have been a scuba diver. Mom and I both are. And can well, I just fact, say, I've can you well giggle a little Spain. bit that we as a society consider scuba diving to be an extreme sport? Because that would make me an extreme athlete. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, you like what you see? I am built extreme. <laughs> I'm not saying that diving doesn't take serious training and has dangerous aspects to it, because it does. Just look up the effects of water pressure on the human body uh, and you will see what I mean. Yeah. But I don't really know how it got put in the same category as skydiving. If my equipment fails underwater, I just up. swim to the surface while steadily exhaling my breath. Mm -hmm. If your equipment fails when skydiving, you get you to spend the next minute watching the choice. ground get closer. Perhaps using that time to ponder the life choices that led you to this moment. I should have just bought a motorcycle. Now, one thing that certainly <laughs> can go wrong when scuba diving is interactions with the wildlife. <laughs> Please understand that in most of those cases, it is 100% oh, the human not an and in the story that I'm about like to action. tell... Yeah, I may have done a big oopsie. When I was in 7th grade, Mom and I decided right. that we wanted to spend a 3-day like, yes, weekend diving in one of our favorite places, Cozumel, Mexico. We Ooh. even invited our diving friend Susie with us because, you know, the more the merrier. Now, very more often on dive trips, yeah. Mom and I would find one of the ladies around the island offering hair braiding services right. and get my hair braided in cornrows with colorful beads on the end. Reasons for doing this. One, I was totally pulling it off and it did not look completely stupid on me. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> no, about. Dang. Two, most importantly, it made managing my hair on these trips so much easier. Mm -hmm. I didn't deal with salty tangled hair getting caught everywhere with these neat and tidy braids. So when we got to Cozumel for our three day weekend, we immediately got my hair braided with beads. Ooh, shiny. Day one uh. driving was great, so we were very excited for day two. It was a small group, just me, mom, Susie, a married couple, and our dive master. The dive master is basically the guy, responsible for keeping everybody safe, getting us from point A to point B, and mm -hmm. showing off all the fishies. We were all having fun, relaxing, floating along, looking at all the pretty things, when we got to a shallow area that had a sand bottom and lots of big rocks scattered about, each one covered in coral and fish. We were all gathered around the dive master, who was showing us something at one of these rocks, when he turned to look upwards and pointed. Hanging out near the surface oh, were two pretty large barracudas. Yeah, this guy. Remember him? The one that ate Nemo's mom? Remember that childhood um, mama? Of course you do. We're all still waiting for therapy for that one. Although this guy looks to be a Pacific Barracuda, and the ones we're dealing with today I'm are the sure. Great Barracuda. The below. Bigger, faster, and way more intimidating in my opinion. They're very aggressive and cunning hunters that rely on quick surprise attacks to kill their prey, and they'll have a go at just about anything if they think they can take it on. Well, our dive master pointed them out to us casually, but then turned back to the rock to show us something else. I, however, was more interested in these two giant predators. I hovered over my group watching the barracudas for a little bit, when mm. I noticed they both slowly started coming towards me. Uh, now, uh, I was a big old marine biology nerd back then, right? and I read in books that barracudas tend to be curious and follow divers from time to time. As long as you're not spearfishing or provoking them, they won't go into bitey mode. So um, I wasn't too yeah. concerned about them approaching. The bigger one came in close and turned the entire length of his body towards me, his eye flicking about, looking me up and down. He was large, pushing four feet, maybe longer, and the second one eyeing me from behind him wasn't much smaller. Not to forget those big sharp teeth are a trait you can't exactly ignore, especially when they're that close. Close. In the midst of all of this, it suddenly occurred to me. Hmm. He's quite close. In fact, I could maybe reach out and touch him right now if I were dumb enough. Maybe I should check to make sure my group isn't leaving without me. I looked over my shoulder, expecting everyone to have moved on a few mm. yards away, but what I saw instead made my blood run cold. Uh, my group was huddling together like oh, frightened prey gosh. animals, just staring up at the barracudas, their masks perfectly framing the terrified looks in their eyes. Mm. Oh! Um. Excuse me. It's just come to my attention that I'm in danger. <laughs> I swear.
scram back down to my group, but the bear yeah, girl was still in hot pursuit, following me every kick of the way. The dive master was it's holding his arms out to me, and when I finally reached him, he grabbed me and shoved me behind him, hiding me amongst the others. Right. My heart was racing. I thought over and over to myself, They're going after the little one. They picked me out as the weakest in the herd. I don't want to be fish food. Oh. We had a real standoff here. These fish were after me like I owed them a debt. Jesus. All right, buddy. Just hand over the tasty morsel, and we don't break no kneecaps. Capiche? That's when the dive master started waving his hand out to them, <laughs> aggressively trying to shoo them away. But the real kicker here was clear as a bell, even underwater, you could hear this brave man shouting through his uh -huh. regulator. Go away! Go away! Hey, you Frankie, I think this one's trying to communicate. Eventually, during this okay. intense stalemate, the smaller of the two barracuda got a little too close to the other and they accidentally bumped into each other. Startled by the <laughs> contact, they zipped off to the <laughs> blue sea, never to return. Oh, Dive Master that's turned around close. to see all of us applauding him gratefully. He smiled with his eyes, stuck his hand inside his wetsuit, and made the motion of a very fast heartbeat. <laughs> huh, you and me both, buddy. We returned to the boat, and when we were all on board, I yelled out, What was up with those barracudas? Um, One thing I forgot to mention beans. about our dive friend Susie was that she also was an expert dive master with decades of experience, and she helped shed some light on the situation. I had never read this in my fish books before, but barracudas <laughs> are not very attractive to shiny legs. objects. Reason for that? They look like the scales of fish. You know, the thing they hunt. Oh, yeah. And what, pray tell, had I tied into my hair that was floating all around my head while we were underwater? Ding, 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 you guessed it, shiny beads. I had made my head into a giant fishing lure. Oh. <laughs> well, um. I guess this is what you'd call a bad hair day. <laughs> Here's a fun fact for you. There may be a handful of millennials out there who remember this story because in high school I submitted it to the now defunct teen magazine Cosmo Girl and they what? published it in their Mi Vida Loca section. The day I found out my family and I were on a flight to Orlando, I was seated away from everyone else and casually reading the latest issue of Cosmo Girl that I had just bought from the airport. I read the first couple sentences of the story and thought, oh wow, a story about a girl who scuba dives. What a coincidence. Wait a minute. I'm the girl who scuba dives. Mom, guess what? I'm a published writer. Oh, she wow. You should be proud of me. I lost that issue when we moved to our new house, but I think I remember <laughs> it had a light pink cover with some pop idol girl on it, and the story was called Bad Hair Day, and it would have been an early 2000s issue. All if right. any of you internet sleuths out there feel like finding it, I'd be more than happy to shout you out in the next video. Just one more thing, explainers. This treehouse is getting ones? a little cramped, so I'm so having an estate sale over at the shop. Everything must go to make way for the new limited edition items we're making this year. And the best part is, if you spend forty dollars or more, you get your choice of one of these guys for free. That's a twenty-five dollar item for zip. You can even just get this bundle right here and automatically be eligible for your gift. Waste no time, because like I said, everything must go. Anyways, explainers and entertainers, gone, that's all gone. I got. <laughs> thank you for well, ten good. years of support, and thank you so uh, much for tuning in. Finish, but now I got to tune yeah. out. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Alright guys, that was it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, comment, like, subscribe with the notification bell to turn on. Until then, keep banging your bloody legends. Woo!